What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscriber. Subscriber, sorry. Welcome, um, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, if you can ring the little bell and buy my soul talk, I super duper appreciate you saying, just saying, saying. I did get two messages in as I was meditating on your biweekly energy, and um, the first one I heard um, separating from Scorpio for some. That's what I heard separating from scorpio for some and then about 45 seconds after that i heard for good this time for good this time so you take it out resonates in your own life and then um it was about three minutes after that i heard line strong in the sand that's strong that's strong energy right there Sag. so you take it out resonates so i'm thinking some of you guys um at least one of you guys is separating from a scorpio uh for good this time um, now it could be a partner, a past partner, a fleeing, a neighbor, a coworker, a friend, friend of me. You take it out, resonates. Whoever this person is in your life, they can have Scorps in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Midheaven, or Jupiter. Ooh, I oh, I just heard the dope man for some. Holy crap! Whoa. Okay, so you take it out, resonates. I heard the dope the dope man for some. That literally just came in. So for some of you guys, this uh, Scorpio is the dope man. Is your dope man? I'm assuming. Heard the dope man for some. So you take it how it resonates and whatever dope that is. Uh, wow. Okay. Um, and then, this, the, like I said, the second one was line, dr lines drawn in the sand for some. So you take it how it resonates. So I think you're drawing the line in the sand um, regarding person, place, or situation. You take it out resonates don't forget the basics time is fluid energy is fluid if it doesn't apply let it fly everyone has free will um only take the messages that resonate with you the dope man so I mean, well that's good if you're separating from your dope man um i hate that some of you guys had dope mans to begin with but um is it going to do nothing but better your life real talk for real for real so congrats in all seriousness um i heard the dope man for some so for some of you guys that scorps is not your dope man but for some apparently that person is just saying seven of pentacles upright can cuts reverse the sun reverse oh no i'm sorry eight of cups upright eight of cups so let me look that one up I hope everybody's doing okay today. For real, for real, I do. Compelled to walk away from a disappointing situation. Change or transition. Walking away from a difficult or disappointing situation. Okay. A particular masculine water sign has really caused a lot of strife and disappointment in a Sagittarius's life. They are about to completely cut ties and separate from this person. For some, this masculine water sign has caused many problems in this Sagittarius's life. Okay, so you take it out, resonates, holy moly. So if this resonates with you, Sag, I heard um, basically there's a masculine water sign in your life, um, either in your life currently or was, um, and you're in the process of getting them out. You take it out, resonates. I heard they've caused a lot of uh, disappointment and um, for some several disappointing and um, devastating situations in your life. Um, and you're basically about to um, draw the line. You're about to draw the line. You're about to cut them out. You're about to cut this person out. Um because they have, and I don't blame you. I don't blame you. That's the Eight of Cups upright energy. And then this is that masculine uh, water sign that we're talking about here. He's coming in as a, um, I'm sorry. Well, yeah, masculine uh, water sign. 
He's coming in as a um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio reverse energy, uh, King energy reverse. So uh, one time he was a King upright, but now he's calling reverse. So he's un un ungiving, unloving, unkind towards you. And it causes you lots of unhappiness because we have the sun reverse. It causes you lots of un unhappiness, Sag, because they are being so ungiving, unloving, unkind towards you. I heard they have basically disappointed you and devastated you in several situations. So however that resonates in your life. So I don't blame you for walking away. I think you're drawing the line in the sand with this masculine water sign. They could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, Midhaven, or Jupiter charge. You take it out, resonates. Spirit messages do you have for the sign of Sag? I was going to say real quick, um, I'm sorry, it's, we're already into the fourth, but I didn't feel guided to do the bi-weeklies. Um, I just didn't feel guided to do them, uh, but until today, um, for the rest of them, because, you know, I've done through Leo, um, but I felt guided to do Virgos a little bit ago, and I felt guided to do Sages. So, you know, I don't like doing it unless I feel guided to do so, or I hear from Spirit to do so, and um, I didn't, and I didn't feel guided to do them, so that's why we're doing them today. Because I want to get as many spirit messages in there as possible. Will of Fortune upright, Page of Wands upright. A fire sign child, the cycles are really changing for this fire sign child. Really gaining confidence and learning positive coping mechanisms. Okay. So you take out Resonate, Sag. That's awesome. This could be your child or somebody you're connected to's child. You take it out resonates, but I heard a fire sign child. So, um, you know, children always come up as phage energies. They just do. Um, so that's the fire sign child I'm, I'm strongly feeling. Um, it can be an Aries Leo Sag. They can be masculine or feminine. They can have Aries Leo Sag and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Node, Midhaven, or Jupiter. Obviously, they're um, below 18, whoever this fire sign child is. But I heard cycles are really changing for this fire sign child. And that's the Will of Fortune upright energy. Because, you know, the wheel can either go in your favor or not in your favor. Um, but apparently it's going in this fire sign child's favor. Her cycles are really changing and basically positive good things are coming for this fire sign child. They're really learning um, positive coping mechanism skills and really um, sounds like manifesting their self. Um, and I'm sure the parent or parents are really helping this child properly manifest themselves if they have good parents. Um, you take it out resonates. You could be the parent or it could be somebody you're connected to is their parent, um, but somehow you're connected in your life with a fire sign child. But I heard cycles are really changing for this fire sign child, uh, but for in a positive way. So it sounds like good things are gonna come for this fire sign child, that's beautiful. Good things are really going to come. The parent really recognizes the worth in this child and is building them up. That's beautiful. Okay. So I heard um, good things are going to come for this fire sign child, but um, the parent, I heard the parent. So at least one of these um, child's parent, maybe he, um, he or she only has one parent or maybe um, in a single parent home or just maybe one of the two parents really recognizes the worth in this fire sign child. I heard that the parent that recognizes this is really building the fire sign child up and that's beautiful. Oracle card time. That's my favorite part. Spirit messages. And the community is really helping as well. Okay, I heard and the community is really helping as well. So not only the parent that recognizes the worth, but the community as well is really helping build this fire sign child up. And that's beautiful. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Spirit messages you have sign of Sag.
Like I said, that child could have Aries, Leo, or Sag, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, South, Moon, and Hammer, Jupiter. If you think about resonates. Spirit messages you have for uh, Sun of Sag. I love seeing everybody's children do well. Absolutely. I mean, I have children. For anybody who watches me regularly, you know that. I have children, and I want nothing what's best for my kids, my kids, and others. And that's just the truth. Spirit messages you have on side. A particular Sagittarius is really getting a huge wake-up call, especially recently. It's going to take this uh, cause the Sagittarius to take a lot of action. Okay, heard a uh, particular Sag has got a huge wake-up call, especially recently, and it's going to cause them to take a lot of action. So it could be the action if this is your child, a positive action, or it could be the action to get away from. The dope man for some, and for some, this water sign masculine, um, or however it resonates in your life. The soul, hedgehog, transition, strength, ancestors. The soul. A particular Sagittarius has really been soul searching recently. About many things. Okay, so you take it out, resonates. Her particular Sag has really been soul searching recently about many things. So I think. Obviously, you've been soul searching. You've been um, going inside yourself, really um, doing a lot of hermit mode style, self-reflecting, um, and going within. I heard about many things. So you take it out, resonates in your own life. Hedgehog. A particular Sagittarius is about to become very protective. Some of a feminine energy, some of a family. Necessary now. Because of lies and evil in the past. Whoa, so you take it out, resonates. That's strong, Sag. Um, I heard a particular Sag is about to become very protective. Some of you guys over a particular femme energy and some over a family. I heard it's very necessary because of evil and lies in the past. So you're going to be like the hedgehog because um, you know hedgehogs have spikes on their back to protect them against predators. Um, you're going to be like a hedgehog, a, some towards the femme energy and some towards the family. It could be your family. It could be your extended family. It could be somebody else's family. Um, and some towards the femme energy. So however that femme energy resonates in your life, coworker, friend, family member, um, you take it out, resonates. Transition. Cycle changes coming for some Sages. Most very positive. Okay. So you take it out resonates. I heard cycle changes come for um, for a lot of you guys. But most of these cycle changes are very positive. So you have the transition card, which is um, it's cycle changing. Um, it's the wheel moving. It's the wheel moving, moving, moving. The wheel moving. Strength. Strength building for some, some personal strength being obtained. Okay, so you take it out, resonates. I heard strength building for some of you guys. So I think the physical act of exercising, like strength building, uh, muscle mass building and things like that. Um, and some um, personal strength inside yourself. So using personal strength inside yourself, it could be for some of you guys, I'm thinking the personal strength inside yourself is this. Just saying. But however you're going to um, 
gain that personal strength inside yourself um, and how you're going to use it. Ancestors. One particular Sagittarius comes from a very, comes from a very strong line of psychics. It has been revealed a family member for some has this ability. Okay, so you take it out resonates. Um, at least for one of you guys, I heard um, you come from a very strong line of psychics. So, you know, um, psychic medium channeling abilities, which is basically this. I'm um, channeling it from spirit, um, clairaudience, clairvoyance, clairsentience. But usually the psychic medium channeling is usually um, is usually clairaudience, which is the hearing. But some psychics are really strong on clairvoyance, which is the visions as well. It really all depends on what gifts spirit decides to bless you with and that's just the truth um but i heard at least one of you guys you come from a very strong line of psychics um hereditary wise so your ancestors were um had psychic medium abilities and i heard now one of your family members if this resonates with this with you one of your family members has psychic medium abilities of some type now whether it's clear audience or clairvoyance or however that resonates um Let's see if I hear anything else. It makes one particular feminine energy extremely angry about this. But intuitively, you know this. Okay, I heard it makes one particular family member extremely angry about this. And intuitively, you know this. So I think it makes one particular family member of yours, not the person that has the psychic medium abilities, but some other fem fem feminine family member very angry that this fem family member has psychic medium abilities. Um, but I heard intuitively, you know this. So intuitively, you know this fem energy that's basically pissing in her panties that some other um, family member has psychic medium abilities. I can speak psychic medium abilities um, that you know that she's pissy in her panties because this person has them. You take it out resonates. And for some, you've been having dreams of family members of the past. These are intuitive messages from spirit. Okay, I heard for some of you guys, you've been having dreams of the past from uh, family members from the past. So I think family members that have passed away, um, your ancestors, genera generational ancestors um, of the past. So they're not with us anymore on this earth is what I'm assuming. But I heard you've been having dreams of them, whoever this resonates with um, in your dreamscape. But I heard from spirit is basically um, intuitive signs from spirit. So it's spirit trying to tell you something, um, basically. So you take it out resonates in your own life. Let me see if I hear anything else. Stepping into a higher wavelength is what I just heard. Stepping into a higher wavelength. So I think that's you, um, Sag, or somebody you're connected to. Um, stepping into a higher wavelength, which is basically raising your um, frequency, your vibration. It's like um, it's like upgrading from a page to a knight or upgrading from a king or queen to an emperor or empress or high priestess um, in the standard right away. Um just saying. So you're upgrading your uh, vibration and frequency. Um, so you're upgrading. You're either doing it now or you're about to. Um, that's beautiful. Okay, we're done. Personal readings currently closed. However, donations super duper greatly appreciated. The Cypress is 5. The link's in the description box below. If you'd like to donate, all donations are greatly appreciated, but you have to do it the right way. There'll be a drop down. You have to clear it out and put in donation. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.